We had two projects uh, with eco cooling over the last year. The first was to install a single unit within our UPS and switchgear room, and the second one was to install 12 units in our main data floor area. Eco cooling was um, one of a few vendors in the UK that were offering genuine solutions uh, for adiabatic cooling. We'd identify that as our preferred solution uh, to retrofit into our existing data centre. Um, and having met the people and uh, spoken to the installers, they just seemed like the best fit for us. We had two briefs. Uh, the first was to retrofit uh, a single unit into our UPS room to replace three uh, ceiling mounted air conditioning units. Um, uh, that was to cool our, UP, our UPS and switch gear room. Um, the second brief was to uh, retrofit uh, 12 units into our main data floor. That was to replace six traditional downflow units. The installation went extremely smoothly. We uh, worked very closely with Eco Cooling over about four or five months, look at the planning and also the project implementation. Uh, the process itself was extremely smooth. Uh, the installers worked with us very closely throughout the installation um, and they even swept up afterwards. Um, they helped us afterwards with all of the, the post-commissioning stuff as well. So generally very happy indeed. We, when we first uh, approached uh, Eco Cooling uh, and looked at the correct units, um, we were obviously a little bit skeptical because not many people in the UK had actually tried this relatively new technology. We did an installation for a year which we tested and we, uh, we, we made sure it worked um, and then we decided to take the plunge with a much larger and mission critical installation of the 12 units. Uh, as it happens, uh, we've now been running that system for over four months. It's uh, more than met our expectations and uh, we're very, very happy with it. I think one of the key benefits that uh, we perhaps didn't calculate uh, before the installation but we were now actually seeing that uh, now they're running is that during particularly hot days the crack units are actually performing much better than our old crack units. Um, it's very rare, I know, in the UK for the temperature to go above 30 degrees, but on the rare occasions that it does, we sometimes had to be outside with our old crack units with the sprinklers and the hose. With the crack units, they actually perform better um, than uh, in very hot and arid conditions. Um, so, like I said, the, the, the days that has been particularly hot, they've, they've more than met our expectations.